in this video i'll show you how how to save the output probability in a logistic uh, regression model when you are uh, modeling a logistic re uh, regression model using proc logistic you need to save the output with the probability probability of an event happening along with the uh, you know the input data set right so how do we do that well theoretically uh, let me let me take you to the slides that i use for the logistic regression model well theoretically as you can see on the screen the probability that an event will happen is given by the model right e to the power a plus bx by 1 plus e to the power a plus bx once you are done with the modeling exercise you have run the model you have the intercept and slope coefficient so you have a and b the value of x that is the value of independent variables is there in your data set now we can uh, compute the value of you can do that manually you can just put all the values and then um, you can find it out uh, by yourself so for uh, for uh, every observation you will have a probability of an event happening right but how do we do that uh, using sas proc let us see for this exercise i have taken a data set uh, a data set on uh, students okay let me go to the data set first i have my data set name is students my dependent variable is admit so if a student is admitted to a graduate college uh, it takes one else it takes zero uh, i have got three independent variables gre gpa and uh, rank of the undergraduate university the student attended um, I hope you have gone through the uh, videos uh, on uh, logistic regression theory and logistic regression uh, using SAS before that, before, before this particular uh, you know, uh, video. So I will continue from there. Um, uh, if you have gone through the earlier videos, you must be uh, familiar with this uh, syntax, proc logistic and then data, data set name use descending if you are modeling for the event uh, since rank is a class variable i have used class rank the model is the uh, the model specification is like this model statement give your dependent variable name equal to and put all your independent variables to the uh, right of the equal to sign so uh, this is the basic form of logistic regressions so what changes do we need to do uh, or what additional syntax is required to ensure that um, the output probability is saved in a output data. For that we write output out equal to then give uh, you know mention a name uh, it, it can be any name okay so I will give out data okay so in my out data i want predicted probability right so you write p equal to and then give any name i'll give it sorry for the interruption p equal to uh, i'll give predicted probability you can give any name so what is p p is nothing but the uh, probability that is predicted by using the above model so once this model is you know built using that model and using our input data set uh, you know the uh, sas proc will compute the probability of happening of an event or the output probability for us okay uh, so Predicted probability is, is the going is going to be the column name in the output data set. Um, 
if we want to have the uh, upper limit and lower limit of uh, of the uh, probability in terms of the confidence interval we also can have it but that's optional we we may have it or may not have it okay let's have it so syntax is like this lower then give any name name of the column i'll also use upper and i give it u double p as the column name so this is pretty much uh, the syntax uh, your output data then your predicted probability uh, probability for lower confidence level probability for upper confidence level let's run this now well our output data will be saved in the work label so let's go to the explorer our data set name is out data so let me run this let me open this data set okay you can see that the estimated probability okay is there uh, so against each observation you have the probability value uh, probability value so what is this probability probability of happening of an event so what is an event here an event is getting admission to the graduate graduate school okay so for the first observation you can see the probability of this particular student getting admitted to the graduate school is 0.17 whereas for the second observation you can see the probability of the student getting admitted to uh, the college is 0.29 and uh, you know you will see that in most of the cases the probability of uh, probability uh, for uh, the students with admit equal to 1 would be higher than the probability uh, you know uh, probability for the students uh, with admit equal to 0 most of the cases not in all cases though um, the Confidence level, the lower confidence level and upper confidence levels are also there. So, what does that mean? It means that you know, 95% uh, of the times, out of 100 times, out of 100 times, 95, at least 95 uh, times, uh, the probability will lie between 0 0.09 to 0 0.28. So, 0.28 my, is my upper confidence level or upper. Uh, limit and 0 0.09 is my lower limit so that's how we interpret it you can take a look at the syntax so this is the way in which we save the uh, predicted probability in our out data and predicted probability is what we actually uh, you know want to know of course this is input data we already know who all are admitted uh, to the college and who all are not but this is the way we actually score the new data okay because we also uh, the, the whole purpose of modeling is that we model the data using our historical data but we we want to find out the probability uh, for the new data or the new student coming in okay um, student who are not yet admitted to the college so that's the way we do it